So this is one major question which children have been asking me that, uh, sir, my 11th standard concepts are not clear. Now, what do I do? I don't have the time. That is correct. Time nahi hai. Band bach chuka hai. Ab kya karoge? Simple hai. Um, pick up the chapters and quickly do a diagonal reading of the chapters and pick up the main topics, right? You know what these main topics are. Just in chemistry, you know that the P block is an important chapter. In maths, you will know that there are certain chapters which has got links connected. Or by now, you would have got an experience of listening and looking to various past question papers. Papers, and you know that this is the type of questions that they're asking throughout in all the papers. So only pick up those topics and concepts which are important and read that. A. B. Pick out the simple textual questions and just go through those questions. About the most important thing is to pick up past papers and pick up relevant question papers and to solve them. Just by doing this in the next some days uh, you will be uh, like doing something great, doing something amazing and, and you know how you will work the timetable out, right? So what you see over here is a simple a simple schedule, a simple timeline where you start at 5 in the morning and you go till 8.30 and if you have more appetite to sit and study, you can do one more slot from 10 to 11.30. Now very importantly, you should focus in a manner that you, you can sandwich some good fun into this, otherwise academics will become too cramping. Uh, it will be stressful, you will lose your interest and then you will feel bored too soon. So uh, rest a little, rest, have fun, uh, do things which are important, which will rejuvenate you during the study period. A basic nine hours, uh, a maximum of ten and a half hours here for the next uh, whatever number of limited two digit days that you're left with. So why do you need to sit for this uh, nine hours or ten and a half hours per day for the left uh, thus then? Why should you do this academic uh, struggle? It's because that you should be getting some great marks. How much is this great marks? It's about 300. Agar aapka percentage, percentile 300 ke upper hai, matlab aap top 100 mein aage. 250 aur 300 ke beech mein hai, to aap table dekhiye, uh, 500 ke below hai. You're, you're below 500. Uh, the rank is below 500. Now, your aim is to be in this bracket. Yeah, 220 and 250 ke beech mein up ho, then you are in this range of 4000 that's where your predicted rank could be but iske niche jaise ab jaate jaoge utna probability kam ho jayega man chaha college mein admission lene ke liye waise admission to mil hi jayega koi na koi kahin na kahin koi na koi college mein to mil hi jayega admission lekin maksad wo nahi hai na maksad ye hai ki aapka admission ek aise college mein ho jahan par uh, future mein jaakar aapka reputation ho future mein jaakar aapka placement must ho aur placement se juda aapka uh, salary remuneration take home package TC बहुत ही बढ़िया हो ये कायम रखने के लिए बहुत बहुत ही ज्यादा जरूरी है कि आपका परसेंटेज सही हो और इस टेबल के अनुसार अगर आप पढ़ोगे तो तो काफी काफी लाभदायक होगा so you must have seen the table. The table gives you a fair idea of where you stand and how much do you do. What are the important topics that you should be dealing with? In maths, you should be looking at 3D geometry and vectors, calculus, application of derivatives, definite, indefinite, integrals, um, the area under the curve, matrix, matrices, sorry, matrices, uh, determinants, probability, quadratic equations, inequalities, and progressions. These are the topics that you will be looking onto in maths. Uh, pick out the questions which have been coming from the past papers and do them. In physics, of course, we talk, we regularly talk about this in all the videos and, and I'm sure you as children community would be doing things a lot on that. Modern physics, optics, heat, thermodynamics, electrostatic, magnetism, uh, magnetic effect of current, EMI, AC circuits, EMI, uh, EM electromagnetic waves, mechanics, mechanics is important. In chemistry, you'll work with general chemistry, my chemistry, P block, carbonyl, chemical kinetics, um, nuclear, and then you go to uh, thermodynamics, quantitative, D block complexes, the P block element is important. Uh, in solid state, you will work a little on that. And yeah, that's, that's what you will touch on in the last 10 days, that's what you will touch on. Um, down in the description, I'm going to give you a few links. Um, first of all, you could pick out an Excel sheet. I'm putting up a complimentary Excel sheet that will give you an analysis of uh, uh, how your marks can go up, go down, and um, where you can score, and where you lose the negative, and where you get the negative, etc.
download that Excel sheet and just work on it. Um, I'm sure you will you will visit uh, visit meditstore.in and there's some additional resources for JE students there. You could also pick up Revise JEE uh, in nine hours. Uh, we've made an entire curriculum um, available, uh, made it available to children community, the student community in nine hours, how you can revise the entire of JEE uh, at the last moment in a recap session. And guess what? We've made it available to you at a lot more discounted price because we want you to pick up that PDF um, and we want you to study from that so you don't have to refer to everything. That's all what you need to refer in the last moment. Good luck, children. Good, do, good luck and do really, really well. Come back after the examination and let us know how your paper was. And when you get your results, do let us know what your score is because um, we've been followed for a long time in the last uh, one year by all these 10,000 odd children. Now, we're so grateful that you've been working hard and we, we are honored with the fact that you've given us this opportunity to work with you so closely. Right? So you're left with these 10 days, uh, yeah, in these 10 days or 13 days maybe in this, in this available time, what are you going to do? Um, I've told you to put in a four slot before lunch and three slots after lunch based on your appetite. What should you be doing in these four slots? In these four slots, you should be going through three papers or maybe four papers. Three or four papers every day for these 10 days. Matlab, Charlie's paper ko kya karna hai? You have to analyze these papers. Matlab, look at every question and say, ye aata hai, ye nahi aata hai. You know, just analyze these questions. Aata hai, nahi aata hai. That's it. Make a list of all that jo nahi aata hai. So after lunch, in the three slots that I've given you, all you have to do is study jo nahi aata hai, revise jo nahi aata hai, mentorship le lo, agar bilkul nahi aata hai, padkar bhi nahi aata hai, to talk to a teacher, talk to a mentor, and wo samaj ke le lo teacher se, right? So in the first half, you're using four slots to revise, to analyze four question papers to understand what you don't know. Correct? And then after lunch, what you're doing is, jo nahi aata hai un paper o mein se, uske saath bet kar detail padai karo. Right? So, four papers in each slot is what you have to do. Starting from the sixth day left na, from here onwards, use this slot to revise and study the topic revise NEET in nine hours or the revise JEE -E in nine hours. So, go through that over here and study that also as a segment over here. Right. So any questions that you have or if you think you need a different study plan or if uh, this study plan is not agreeing with your existing pattern or system, put in the comment section and I will uh, write back to you and tell you what you could do or how you could work on it. Also pick up that Excel sheet and work on that very closely. Uh, download the revised JEE -E in nine hours and, and see how it changes a lot of things dramatically for you. So the physics analysis, you know, I went through the uh, paper last times and uh, this is my analysis or report of the paper um, that we have, which, which, uh, which the students gave last year. 18 out of 30 questions were simple. Uh, when I say simple, it means that it had less calculations and uh, of course you must be having the conceptual knowledge and the theoretical knowledge and the formulas and everything, but our questions were manageable. In the JE advance, patch questions were very lengthy, hell lengthy. So students wasted a lot of time in, in that being the lengthy aspect. And, and here's what I understood when I was dealing and talking with children that those children just got board exam ka tayari barabar ho chuka tha conceptual level par uh, they have found the JE main pretty easy they could have handled it very easily and uh, I need not say that a score of approximately 40 to 50 is a good score 40 to 50 is a good good luck physics is going to change everything like you know uh, so put all your energy and strength um, onto physics and well um, let's do chemistry analysis uh, from chemistry what I understand is 10 questions were absolutely easy 10 questions were like anybody can do it you you even if you are in a position of getting 60 out of uh, 60 percentage in your 12th examination um, you can you can get 10 10 10 questions you could have easily easily attempted that's how easy the chemistry paper was now the remaining five questions uh, uh, were easy but it required solid calculations that means you had to have a good knowledge of uh, uh, questions concepts theory and everything Three questions were very factual, very, very factual. Like that's the boiling point, that's the melting point, that's the bond angle, very factual questions. Three questions came which were very factual. And there was another set of 10 odd questions, 10, 12 questions, which had detailed depth of concept. That means a child who did not know these concepts would be sweating in that, in that particular chemistry paper. 
a score of 60 to 67 is, is considered to be a good score. And for maths, my dear friends, uh, here's the statistics for maths paper. Uh, out of the 30 questions, 12 were very easy, 7 questions were lengthy, 6 questions are conceptual, and 5 questions was far tough, tough questions. Out of these, um, seven questions were from calculus, um, four were very, very easy. Seven questions were from algebra, out of which four were extremely easy. Uh, five questions were from coordinate geometry, out of which five was four was very easy. There are two questions which came from trigonometry, out of which only one was, uh, one was e easy. Surprisingly, there are nine questions which came from vectors, 3D geometry, matrices, determinants, statistics, logic, LPP, out of which four were really easy. That's what uh, children across uh, told. A score of 50 to 55 should be a good score um, so so work on that maths is a very problem based question so you when you spend time you'll spend physics chemistry and then maths uh, physics needs maximum time and then chemistry and then so when you're planning the whole studies you know how to do it right when you're revising paper also um, shoot make yourself uh, comfortable with physics and the numericals of physics and the conceptual uh, blasters of physics uh, that's 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 important Overall, the paper was a good paper uh, last time and the year before that also. Um, it checks students on the knowledge and on the problem solving abilities. Uh, out of the 30 questions, 14 questions are easy. When I say easy, uh, it means that you have to have a good sense of the subject, not just easy. Maybe four odd questions are easy for anyone to answer, but there are 10 questions, which is easy, but again, it needs your subjective knowledge over it. Uh, 10 questions were medium and six were really hard. Six were really hard. So the expected cutoff of physics uh, was about 50 out of 120. Uh, for a student to be able to qualify to the top 1.5 lakh students, that should have been the decent cutoff. Uh, any student uh, who had participated or practiced in the entire NCRT format, in the entire NCRT book, uh, I think uh, would have been able to score really well and do really good. The hard questions were of good quality. They were not simply hard or complicated for the heck of it, but they were really good questions, uh, confused very well with concepts and sandwiched uh, with a lot of information, uh, which means only a good student with good conceptual ability and understanding would have been able to get there. Uh, the paper of maths also, I believe, was very well balanced with the difficulty level and continuations and everything. Um, uh, the topical distributions was 8, 10 and 5 questions asked from algebra, 10 calculus, 8 and coordinate geometry, 5 respectively. Uh, two questions uh, were same as given in the NCRT curriculum, which I understand. Uh, the textbooks and few others were exactly similar to that, very similar to that. Uh, nearly 60% under the category was easy, very easy. The paper was on the lines of the last year's uh, AIEEE paper, so it's again uh, the, those children who would have practiced and solved papers very well uh, would have succeeded easily. Uh, paper 2 will test the student for uh, visualizing 3D dimensions, dimensional objects and 2D drawings, uh, uh, visual, visualizing drawing sides, objects, your analysis from, from that perspective point of view, the objects and also the analytic reason and mental ability uh, that was paper 2 all about. Um, try conventional methods first, uh, this is what I always say, try the normal regular conventional methods, that's what even the experts say, you know. Um, if they don't work then try to understand the problem again and find cues to reach there and do it in, in, in a different way. But first of all, get to this easy grassroot level. So um, here's what I have to tell you. Uh, I don't know whether I'll be seeing you again before your JE examination. Um, I want to wish you all the best. Um, I want to wish all the parents who are uh, dealing with a similar situation back home under the stress. I want to wish all the teachers who are doing this wonderful job coaching children all over um, I want to wish all the teachers and parents also because you've done a good job motivating these children to give this examination. And children, um, all the very best. Go compost, eat well, exercise well, sleep well, give yourself the right amount of rest. Um, do come back and write to me and let me know because we will know what we need to do for the next year's student. Your experience will be so important and, and it should be shared to the students, the youngsters who will be watching these videos down again. If you really liked what we just spoke uh, and if you really like the content which uh, my team has prepared, Sunit and Saili and Prajna and Nandini and all of them, you know, there's quite a lot more people. When, if you like this content, do share the video. Um, we are a very organic channel. Uh, so unless you share, we are not able to reach out to more people. Like the subscription, uh, uh, like the video, uh, share it and um, 
We'll keep you in prayers to well, to really well.